We're drinking that cinnamon Coke and we're living right. No, we are uh, done. Hopefully everybody had a happy New Year's Eve, New Year's. Uh, your resolutions are starting to come true already, just a couple hours in. So I've had this question pop up several times and I, I last night I just didn't get around to making as many videos as I wanted to and you're probably thinking, dude, you already made too many videos uh, last year. Don't start this year off wrong, right? Nope, got to start off with the video. So what we're going to do is talk about what you need and to put one of these cool looking stars on other reels other than Daiwa. Now, if you own any Daiwa reel, and I'll try to explain, I should have brought a reel up, but if you own uh, Steez, uh, the Zillions, and there are several other reels, and this is a good place to start right here. So if you own a Daiwa reel, and it's like spring-loaded, right? If you can grab the side of the drag star and it, it goes in and out, that means that these Gomexas and a couple other ones I'm going to show you, they're direct replacements. If you don't own a reel, you can still do this, but I'll show you the parts you'll need and for the Daiwas that are just have the thread. So like if you've taken your drag star off before and you're like, what's this dude talking about? If it just pops off and then that there's actually like a spring and a nut that comes off, before you can uh, get in, you know, take off the rest of the side plate or whatever. If your drag star you have now doesn't have threads on it, these will work. If it has threads on built onto the drag star, uh, you'll need a few other parts for Daiwa reels. Now, if you own almost any, uh, basically an Abu Garcia and most of the uh, AliExpress reels you'll find on AliExpress, there's these will fit, there's just parts you'll need. So I'm going to show you the parts and uh, there's one other way I've put out in another video where you can actually just cut down an old plasticky drag star. Like say if you've got a real cheap dive or reel that doesn't even have the Zion star, it's just got a plastic star that's threaded with like metal, you know, like plastic molded on top of the metal threads. You can actually cut that down into a square that'll fit into these and it just pushes on. Now, the only part I'm not going to show you because it could vary from each individual reel. Every once in a while, you might need to space a little different for different reels is the only thing that could come in. Now, the ones I'm going to tell you about that I've done, the basically uh, Dark Wolf Ultra or the variants, I haven't uh, had a need for the spacers. They, uh, with what I'm going to show you, that's all it took. But there's a few other things to it. So the first thing and the most expensive thing you'll need, let me find it here. Well, the drag star is the most expensive thing. They're roughly $15, and I'll show you some of those, I guess. So let's start with that. So there's one you've just seen here, the gum axis, and let me jump back up here and see if this is the, I think this is a place where, they also make them for Shimano. So, and this will show you right here, basically the Corrado SLX, Calcutta Conquest. If you go to this uh, one here, it'll show you a lot that the, Shimano's make and there also should be a direct fit for that but those don't get one for Shimano if you don't own a Shimano you'll need to go to the Daiwa one click on that and pick out what color the only color you can't get right here uh, is silver is out and they make another one but I've also found that on uh, eBay sells a smoke one that I've talked about that is made a little different and you can see the Shimano ones are completely made different. They come with that plastic thing which has the clicker built in kind of deal and I think it's already built in. I don't think you have to put your clicker in it. I don't think. I don't know. I've never bought one of these Gomexas for Shimano. Not yet. I might if I end up getting a Bantam. Because according to this uh, other, it says the 18 Bantam MGL. So it should fit the 18 and the newest one because there's basically the same reel. So if I get a Bantam I would probably track down the silver one and get it for it, but it's out for actually both. You can't get it uh, for the Daiwa or the uh, Shimano. So then there's also this style, and here's uh, and there's several stores that sell both of these on AliExpress, and they actually you can find the Gomexas on uh, eBay for 15 bucks. Now, if you saw that, if you're a new, if like you haven't ordered anything from AliExpress and it'll be your first time, they're actually selling these right now like $9.50. That's a new user price. 
they're normally 15. Like me, I've already, I would have to start a whole other account basically. Which I guess technically you could do if you really wanted to. But $15 isn't a bad price, they're made pretty good. And these are just a touch higher, but they come with, they're $16.99, but they come with a little cap. If you own a Daiwa, uh, if you don't own a Daiwa, those I don't believe will fit any other reel other than uh, the ones that are kind of made for the zero adjuster. They're kind of a replacement, so you can adjust it. Zero adjuster, easier. There's a flat side of them. So let's say if you have... I mean, I, I'm, don't hold me 100%. I'm pretty sure, though, that even any of the Black Knight, the original one, or the Dark Wolf uh, originals and the twos, uh, the, what I'm going to show you will work. They, and it should work for, like, if you have the older, uh, say, PW100, the... Uh, and they'll work on the lingle. You gotta, you gotta kind of play with the lingle. The lingle doesn't have a lot of threads. It's hard to figure that with the lingle, you almost have to leave the spring and stuff out, and just use the brass part that I'm getting ready to show you. The lingle's kind of all by itself on how it doesn't have a lot of uh, shaft sticking out to put the handle and all the drag stuff and all this stuff on it. It's already kind of mushed in there as it is on the ones I had. But I'm trying to think of, oh, the GH100, it, it should also fit, or even if you have the older XF50 and that kind of stuff, but you want to do that. Almost, almost every AliExpress reel that I've come across, uh, you can make this work. So the parts you'll need, the first part is, that's not it. Where did it go? And the, Well, the, I guess I'll say the most expensive, because just for one of these, and you'll need to specify right or left, just one of those little brass deals cost uh, over 10 bucks. Now, and I've never seen these on sale. There, you, you're gonna spend like 10 bucks. You might occasionally get a dollar off. Uh, like this says you can get $3 off. I haven't clicked on that on this one. Now on my phone where I order stuff, I've never seen that before. It's saying you can get it. Let's collect it. Well, it's gonna want me to do all kinds of other stuff. I ain't going through all that. Anyway, that's your most expensive piece for one reel. The downside to the other parts I'm going to show you, you can only get them in like uh, bundles of two or four or whatever. Like this site, they're going to sell you a whole bunch or whatever. Like I was going to buy, and what I probably still need to do just to have a couple others on hand, is I was going to buy four of those. And then these drag clickers here, this is the one you'll need. Now, if you're, you're going to spot a lot of these. So... Uh, if you look at this, to find it, you can actually just, uh, and I'm going to try to put the links at the end of this video to the specific places I'm at right now or where I ordered the parts previously from on my, off my phone, which I found this exact one. But it's easy to find. You just put in click, and you, if you can see that, they spelled holder wrong. H-L-O-D-E-R uh, with stainless steel spring ratchet bait cast reel. But anyway... Those are the ones, and what makes them different from a lot of the others, I'll show you this, it's the measurement. Like if you click on a site and it's got them and it seems cheaper or something, uh, that needs to be that uh, 19 millimeter uh, spacing in order to let it click and make it contact with the uh, inner part. See there? The first batch, I ordered like 12 of them because it was a cheap deal, but they were only like... Uh, 16 millimeter. I don't know. They, or they missed it by a couple. They would not touch it all to make the clicking sound on the uh, Drag Star, which was a bummer. So I got like 11 of these that are for the smaller Abu style, I believe is what the difference is. If you change this whole assembly and one of these uh, clickers, that's why I said they can't also fit Abu, even though they say they're not specified for it. Uh, you can put that on an Abu, but you would need these these all three of these parts in order to make it work because abus don't have that style but if you got those that and those you can make all uh almost every reel other than a shimano uh these stars fit but then on shimano you're kind of stuck with the gomexus but these in my opinion i've i've had both and i kind of am up in the air i don't know if but if I had to pick one star over the other just in person, this is a five star. And the, uh, where's the front view? Oh, will you stop? 
Anyway, these are five star. The Gomexis is a six star. They're roughly the same size around. So if you're like, well, I want one that I can reach down and flick with one hand kind of thing, they're both really, they basically will both do that the same amount. So if you track down all the different Gomexa stuff that's out there in the certain colors, they you know match up perfectly and look real good. And I'm pretty sure that is a, I'm not sure which Steez, that may be the uh, gold 8 to 1 uh, Steez CT, which is almost, the purple is almost a pinkish look, so that's what makes that real kind of look real good matched up but I would just want to get that out there for you guys that are asking me questions about that the uh, now it's expensive considering if you if you're gonna do it on Aliexpress reel it only cost anywhere from 55 to 75 bucks uh, you're looking at that's why it's better if you have a few of the reels uh, because if you just bought it for one you're gonna have to spend roughly nine dollars for that ten for that and then another seven, so you're gonna have closer to, you know, you're gonna have close to twice the cost of the drag star just to get the parts. But if you buy it, uh, I wanna say these come in lots of two or four. So yeah, I think the, the one I, I think they come in a set of four is the one I bought for $7 that I already have used like two, I have two left. But I am out of this also. I, I don't have any more of these or these springs. So what I'll probably do is just order four of those. I'll go ahead and order another batch of those and those. But if you, so four of those, that and that, you're looking at, in my card anyway, it dropped it down to like $52. So if you're doing, you, and that'll give you the ability to do four reels. So you're talking just over, you know, you're under your, uh, $15 in parts, $15 for the star, so somewhere around 30 bucks, and it could be different on your different discounts or what you find on AliExpress, but basically under 30 bucks, so I mean, yeah, a $70 reel, it's like, man, I'll spend $30 to put a drag star on it, but it, uh, it, it definitely, I don't know if you guys have seen, it just gives, a, because a lot of these reels, and let's come back over here, Let's just search, and we'll look at how nasty some of these drag stars look. So the, uh, uh oh, Chiefs must got touchdown. But anyway, like the Solo King Acura, this reel, in person, it almost looks better in the pictures than it does in person. Once you get this in person, that drag star honestly looks cheap and just the reel looks like way better quality. And so when you can slap on an actual aluminum, which I end, actually end up just deanodizing one of those, uh, the Gomexis on here with the silver, you kind of have to play with the spacing. If you guys remember in a video, those of you who follow the channel, I had that reel that's click, 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 click. I had the spacing a little wrong. So if you get one of these, and I'll try to show you if I can find a blow up here. So let's say you want to try this and you're going to put it on this one. On this reel, with that other brand that's not Gomexus, I had no, there's no like a spacing issue. I'm trying to find this. So this is kind of an example. So you got this shaft here. Let me see if I can find a blow up of the parts. So yeah, here's basically the clicker assembly as it's going on. These are like the potato chip styled drag deals that come up here on the outside. This part here actually goes on the outside of the casing. Sorry, better picture, so no. So what you do to put it on, I guess I could make a video of actually showing it, but it's real simple. You take off your handle, the drag star will uh, screw off. That piece will stay on because the drag star on those have like the clicker thing built in it, almost Shimano-like, but they won't interchange with Shimano. So then you'll take this piece off your reel and then you'll put them parts on. So you basically just screw on the uh, that brass piece and then you put the spring on and uh oh wait nope whoops sorry i messed up 
Okay, so here's what you do. Whatever, however many spacers, I think, I don't think my reel had three there, but whatever spacers your reel has, when you get the, the, this piece off, you'll take these two out, okay, the potato chip deals, they're going to go inside, hang on, let me get this right for you guys. So, one of these is going to go inside So you're going to take the potato chip deals off, you're going to put this piece on in those potato chip deals, make sure which way they go to where they're not even, they're not facing the same way, if you guys remember that in the video. So you're going to slide those that on, then those two fit inside that. So make sure you put that with the flat part towards the reel, the potato chip deals slide in there, then your little nut deal screws on, then your spring, then the drag star. And it's really that simple. But let's say you do that and something is not right, like it's maybe the tolerances are different. What you might have to do, let me get back here to this reel. Let me find it. What you may have to do is add uh, a washer either here or possibly before the uh, brass nut goes on. To, to space it out just a hair further. It's something you might have to play with, but when on the two I've done, I basically just took, uh, pulled these three pieces off, put that first clicker part in, put these back inside of it, put the brass nut in place of that. You leave that off, that doesn't go back on. So you put the brass nut in place of it, then the spring, and then the drag star, and you, you hold it on, you know, with the spring pressed in, and then you uh, put the your handle back on. So you will want to turn that brass thing down to where it's just starting to get tight. Like you, you'll want to reset the drag once you actually have the star and all on where you can set that right. But if you have any issues, I mean, I can, I guess I don't have enough parts to put another one on that other reel. That's what I'm waiting on. I can actually just take apart my, uh, one of the two Acuras I already have that you've seen with the stars on it and kind of show you guys the process if you needed to see that. But it's fairly simple. The most trickiest part with these when you're changing any kind of drag star, messing around, occasionally you have to play with the spacing a little bit. And most all of these washers you'll find, or these spacers kind of things will interchange from pretty much almost all the reels, even Shimano's a lot of times, those uh, can come in different thicknesses. So if you've taken apart a few reels and you have ones laying around like I do, I've got a whole little bundle of those. It's not a deal. If you don't there's a possibility and i've never even tried to track down i don't even know where i'm sure they're selling somewhere in aliexpress i don't know what you would type in to search for the sizes you would need i just have a bunch laying around but what you can also do if you want to go the cheap route say if you have a cheap diwa and it's just got one of those plastic you know it's already got a clicker on it it does click but it's just got the threads built in and it's plastic it's not zion you could actually cut down a zion one which i don't recommend because those are tend to be a little expensive if you goofed up and decided you didn't want to do that or if you wanted to at some point put it back on to resell you don't want to mess with doing that but if you are if, you, if it's just a cheaper die that does have a clicker but it's a plastic uh you know not zion you can cut that just into a square basically you're going to cut it in the shape of this with the thread so you'll have and i've, I've showed it before in previous videos you have basically, it could be aluminum or a brass insert in this plastic that you cut and you get it close to this shape to where that'll fit in. Then you'll still need, uh, you'll uh, basically just put that on and you may have to space it to where it looks right on your reel because when you tighten and loosen the drag, it will come in and out with that. But as long as you've got the little, uh, piece that goes on the back side of your handle that has it's kind of bent in a little bit almost like potato chip style it should hold the the drag star on to the uh, piece that you cut without needing that spring I think actually one of my uh, uh, I think one of those Acuras is set up that way it doesn't move but anyway I just thought I'd get that out there I know I've had several people ask me about you know well what do I need or what does it take and then I'm also going to show you guys that not all drag clickers are the same. I know we're just talking drag stars here. 
but not all drag clickers in reels make the same sound because there's a uh, some people have been asking me about different stuff Let me click on this but the uh, drag clickers in my uh, Daiwa reels are stock they do sound different though I think they're all designed the same way I believe but what can happen is there's more than just a clicker that that decides the noise right so let me try to find a different picture here so you have if you change out first of all whatever the body of the reel itself is made of can affect the sound of the drag clicker the spool I believe can so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video showing that because I believe the reason my zillion clicker sounds quite exactly like it does is simply because the uh, I've added the different drag star if you had a Zion one I don't think it's gonna sound as loud and then when it when I have it with the uh, chameleon spool which I think the chameleon spool the way it's made gives it that echo that's why it's just a louder uh, casting spool but I think due to the aluminum I've added in the drag star and that chameleon spool, my drag clicker sounds louder, more metally, and a louder sounding overall than what it does when it's got all the stock stuff on it. So I'm gonna try to, at some point, show a video of that with the, I'm, I'll have to disassemble one of them, put the stock stuff back on it. And I may just show you with the stock spool and then with the uh, chameleon spool and see if I can tell the difference or if you guys can, or could be all in my head, but I'm pretty sure that's why that thing sounds a little different. So let me, why, let's just finish this up. I've done, opened my mouth about drag clickers. So let's go to here. Just type in drag clicker, see what comes up. Because this is another question that I'll also get a lot. Okay, now most drag clickers, if they're going to be aftermarket, now, uh, Oh shoot, I can't even think of the name of it now, but Hobie One Kenobi talks about the Sagisi drag clicker, which I believe uh, TJ or somebody makes that thing, I'm not for sure, on BFS Fishing, he's a member on there also. It's the only one that I know of. If you're getting an aftermarket clicker, you're basically going to be getting this type. So it's going to have this, uh, what looks like a cutoff saw type, let's just click on one. Now that one don't zoom. There we go. So you're gonna have this basically, one of these that usually uh, may just like glue down onto your gear. Then uh, it comes with basically the drag uh, pads are smaller in order to, so we will change the drag force. If you get this style aftermarket, it may change, you know, how many pounds of drag that, uh, reel does have but then it comes with this part that's bent and that's going to make the clicking noise on that so the most of your aliexpress reels that come with clickers are also this style most of your shimano and Daiwas are this other style i'm getting ready to show you but most aliexpress i know the lingol the acuras you know the dark there they may come with a different type of metal somewhat but it's pretty much just aluminum and then aluminum some of them have double uh, clicking things which should should be noisier than just the singles but they're pretty much like this and most of the aftermarket ones you're going to come across are like that but then and I should be able to find the replacement parts in here most of your Daiwa stuff and the Sagisi custom one for the alphas and he makes them for a few other reels now are different they're more like the stock so here's some for other reels zillions and stuff but they're basically if you look they're the same thing there's a double and I've watched a few guys that they have this in this order. That's the wrong order. That piece goes on top of that piece. I've seen it in a few different videos. Guys put these together wrong. That pretty much is going to be glued down inside your uh, main, your gear. That's going to slide on top. That's going to go next. And then this goes, it's a pressure thing to push it all down. That's why it's cut out to where it doesn't push down on the, the springy part of that. Uh, I should click on that just to show you guys. 
because I, I, I have seen this done wrong in pics and videos and it's probably because I have it laid out like this and I don't know why they did that but uh, if you put this then this this first of all isn't really strong enough to take the pressure this needs to be spread out more that's why it's a little thicker to just put the right amount of drag force it'll still maybe click but what that you find guys doing if they do it that way they find they have to bend these so far down in order to get it to touch these again now, I'm not saying it won't work, but I'm pretty sure this thing is designed, if you go by what most of the other ones or how they come that are designed like this, there's no need to have this before that, unless, it may make a different sound. I've never tried it that way, but these are definitely not bent far enough. When you put those two pieces in, it won't even click because those won't touch. So, that, that, then this, then that, okay? All right, now let's get back to what I was trying to find. Here's what I was trying to find. Now most of your other Shimano, I'll try to find if it's got the side plate. If I can find the whole thing here. I know the, the Daiwas, and I'm pretty sure most of the Shimanos are like this too. They have this plate is all one unit, so you're gonna have this little spring goes in there and that little thimble and then on the outside, I don't know if it'll show a picture of it here or not. These are just the replacement parts. I'll just click on a few different things, see if it'll bring me to that, because I'm not even sure what that's called. And if I can't find one, I'll just explain it the best I can. I thought they had another. Well, let's just see. Let's try something here. Let's see if I can spell it right. Let's just go here. Sigisi Customs. I know you're looking at a gun, going, "Where are you? Where are you at?" Priceless shop. Let's shop. You guys want to buy a new AR? No. Right here. Out of stock. But anyway, so here is basically what he does is he makes uh, sort of the replacement, the exact same thing that the Daiwas and the Shimanos are pretty much this. Now, I'm not sure if they use, I can't remember now, if they use plastic or metal. So... That little piece I showed you is what this red piece is that he makes. So that this will fit the 20 Alphas Air TW, the which it's got a different gear ratio, so it won't fit. Uh, it's almost directly for that, but I think he does make a few other ones. But anyway, that's why you'll hear a different noise out of the Shimano's and Daiwa's. But there's also difference in just a frame, the frame material, could be the spool, how much, you know, if it's a hollowed out, cut out with holes in it, it'll probably let that noise echo out a little better, even through the braid or through the line than it would if it's a solid spool or the aluminum or plastic drag star can affect the noise. That are the main two. I don't know of any other. If you guys know of a whole different one, you guys feel free to let me know. But I'm pretty sure that is the two types of clicking drags you can get. The ones that have it basically sticking out the side, like we looked at this one, wherever it was. I don't know. Somewhere I had it. Oh well, wherever it was, you guys know what I'm talking about. Or the kind with the these, I, I guess, would say are better because, first of all, this should go on if you have an alphas, and it won't affect the drag fill at all. If you go to one of these aftermarket ones, 
like I said, you have to, if you try to put the stock, one of these pads back in there, it's going to stick all the way out to here. So then when this tries to click, it won't let it click. So I'm not sure how much drag pressure force it, it will not let you tighten up to, but it, it's, if you're using this for BFS, for sure, you, you don't have to worry. I mean, you, I've, I've never found an issue when I uh, put in a replacement once back in the day years ago or a couple newer ones now. I don't really see that. Uh, I can still tighten the drag as tight as I need it. The smoothness is pretty much, I guess, still there as far as I'm concerned anyway. I've never really tested 100%. But that's just what's out there. And you can search for your... Uh, real if you this is also something you want to get you're like oh i want to put aluminum drag star i want a drag clicker if your reel doesn't have one and they're showing you on this reel that style but i'm almost positive i'll have to take mine back apart and look i can't remember it's showing you if you look it's showing you that style right there but i could have swore it was different i don't know heck i don't even remember now i've been messing with so many reels here lately even there it shows that in the picture so I guess it's a possibility. I have to now they're gonna make me tear mine apart today just to look. And I will probably do that and put out the whole video on just talking about that and showing you in person how to add the different parts. For those of you that are gonna need that video. So anyway, hopefully everybody had a happy New Year's and you guys feel like you loved my videos and so you're gonna go and buy me one of these reels and all these parts. Man, you guys just add that up. That is the Steve CT uh, 8 to 1 ratio. I think the cheapest I found it for is just under 500 bucks. That handle assembly actually is a lot cheaper than it looks. That does look very expensive, but I'm pretty sure Gometsis, you can get that at a very reasonable price. The Star, that'll fit directly on there. This reel does come with the drag clicker factory also. I think it's the only non-BFS maybe I think the Steez Air and this reel since the Steez Air had I think they just slapped it on this one. I believe the Steez Air is the same frame as this just with the spacers to fit the basically the Alpha's Air spool. But I've been debating about it. I do not need this reel but I guess in my mind the best of the best as far as for finesse type fishing that Daiwa makes is that reel right at the moment. I know you guys are saying the uh, limited SV with the shallow boost spool is probably the best reel with the spool kind of combo, but that's actually, that's every time they add a limited Steve, that's basically the old model that is going to be discontinued, so uh, it's it's almost like an old tech, it's awesome reel, but it's almost, it's already older technology probably. And then look at this thing. Now that would look good too, I would think. That may actually make a metanium look nice these picks they've kind of made that metanium look brighter than it is in person that was the only downside they do not look that bright and shiny in person the only downside to these whole this right here that handle assembly that thing is going to be cold could also be hot you get hot enough weather that's sitting out on your deck you grab that like woo look out because you're holding on to all metal there they added just a star on the Antares. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Hopefully you liked this video, taught you something about what you might need, even though you didn't know you needed it. Or if you were looking for the info on that, there you go. Thanks for watching. Get out, Bass and Bonsai. Welcome to 2023. It's going to be a good year. We just got to wait for that ice to melt.